Alrighty, my friends, we're going to derive the Van't Hoff equation, and we're going to start off with the Gibbs energy isotherm equation, the change in Gibbs energy, G, of the reaction R under standard state equals negative RT times ln of the equilibrium constant. From here, we're going to divide both sides by T and take the derivative with respect to T to give us this right here. And then with a little minor rearrangement, we'll just take this fraction, put it in the numerator, yank out the negative and R out of the derivative right here. And this gives us this equation. With this equation in hand, we're going to jump to another equation called the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation. And this is it in its differential form. I've derived this in many different ways, but if you look at these two equations, the left hand sides are the same. That means the right hand sides have to be the same. So if we equate them and do some minor rearrangement, we're left with the Van t Hoff equation. This is it in its differential form, maybe not the most useful form for us for exams. So if we multiply both sides by dt and integrate with respect to t, I kind of left those details out here. We're left with the integrated form. I have the details of how I did this in other videos uh, in the description below, but um, here we are. So what this tells us is it gives us the equilibrium constant, or we can estimate it at a different temperature. If we know the equilibrium constant at one temperature, we're assuming that the entropy change and the enthalpy change of the reaction are the same for both temperatures. Now that is an assumption. Entropy comes in from this Gibbs-Helmholtz equation right here. We're assuming pressure volume work only and for a closed system. All right, y'all, I derived this in a few different ways in the description below. I've also solved exam problems with this equation. I graphed it, and I've got tons and tons and tons of other videos on thermodynamics. Best of luck to you on your midterms, final exams, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.